You know, sometimes it pays off to experiment. A lot of times when you fly, and we flew from Toronto to Thunder Bay to come up here to Eagle Lake Island Lodge, you don't want to take a lot of gear with you. So what I did this time, I brought two spinning outfits that are heavy action that we can use for musky, pike, and even walleye if we want, with 50 pound braid. And then two serious bait casters to use for musky and pike. And then two trolling rods, just for fun. So that's not a lot of gear. And Mark told me that there are lake trout in Eagle Lake, and we may try going for them, um, maybe in a couple of days. But I really like this idea of getting walleye like this in open water during the day that are feeding on these larger bait fish. And this guy feels pretty good unless he's tangled up in the other line. I'm hoping he's not. He hasn't come to the surface yet. Usually if it's a small fish, it'll get on plane on top. I got my drag set just right. So let's see if this fish is a little bit heavier. I've almost got the line, the fluorocarbon, into my rod tip. So it just came into the rod tip now. So I know I've got about 50 feet of line out there. You'll notice that even though I look like I'm pumping, all I'm doing is lifting up and I'm using my back. I've got the butt of the rod. Oh, he's a little bit bigger. This guy might be in the slot. He's fighting now, he's digging down. Barb, you're doing great. Thank you. We're still in 94 feet of water. When walleyes open their mouth like this one, it's kind of hard for them to fight. This is gonna be interesting, he might fall off. This is actually a really nice walleye. I'm guessing he's about four or five pounds, Barb. Wow. I'm gonna just try to lift him in. We could use the cradle, but I'm gonna see if I can get him in. Man, he's hooked lightly. He's probably gonna fall off. Isn't that a nice size walleye to get up here? They've got a lot of this size fish and much bigger, right up to 10 pounds up here at Eagle Lake Island Lodge. I know because we've caught him out here that big and we've seen other boats. So I'm just gonna keep him in the water. Look at that beautiful sun on that fish. Is he gorgeous or what? And he's gonna take off. He's got tons of energy and there he goes. Now this is interesting. I was just about to put a silver spoon, this is called a rocket, on this rod, but all of the walleyes have come from this particular color, and I've, I happen to bring two of them. That's that flipper spoon, and you can see it's got that pink and green color, and the back of it is silver. For some reason, that spoon is producing the walleye, so I think I'm gonna run the same spoon on the other one. Does that make sense? If you plan on doing some serious steel or lead core line fishing, you really need to have the right gear. Now what I've got in my hands is a really nice, it's a combo outfit that you can get, they're not very expensive, where you're either using a trolling rod, like a downrigger rod, or a steel line rod, with a high capacity trolling reel. This particular one is the 45LC, it's the larger one, and it'll take about 10 or 11 colors of lead core line. And when I say colors, you can see here that this line is blue, and if I let some of the line up, out. you'll see that the next color is probably black or red okay we're going to the next color so this line is color coded every 10 yards it changes colors and if you use a spoon like we've been using today for walleye those spoons if you troll it about two and a half miles an hour will go down about five feet for every color so right now I'm down about I've got 430 and like 40 feet so this will tell you how, how deep my spoon is going to be running. So if you didn't have a counter reel like we have here, you'd have to keep your eye on how many colors you let out. And for every 10 yards, or one color, five feet down. So the more colors you let out, the, the lower the spoon will go. If you accelerate faster, the spoon will come up. So it's very important to use a rod that's flexible enough to register a fish hit like this one, but that's sturdy enough so it's not bent over because of the drag from pulling the spoon. Now, ladies, this is so awesome. You know, if you love to fish now, and you're a female, I don't think too many men would get excited by this, you can get a medium action spinning rod. And this particular one is called the Jewel. It's six feet long, it's made out of fiberglass, and it's got ceramic insert guides. It's a two-piece rod, cork handle, but look at this. 
When I turn the reel, can you see the lights? There's an actual pink and white light that when you rotate the reel, you can, act, you can see it from here. It looks like it's uh, running lights all around it. So the reel, in fact, is very smooth. So you can see that it's a good quality reel. And the drag is also very smooth. You can adjust it, it's got a front drag. And it's ambidextrous. That means that you can put the handle on the left side or undo this knob and put the handle on the right side. So not only is this kind of a funky rod and reel outfit because of the lights that are there, but it's also very functional. And you can land a lot of big fish, six feet long, jewel rod. You can fish it with bait, artificials, you name it.